Redmi 5 is the successor of Redmi 4A and today in this video I am going to unbox and review Redmi 5A after 2 months of its launch date. But the video is not going to be a boring video cause at the last of the video I will show you some camera samples and I will do a short camera review also. So friends here I am Shobhik Ghosh and welcome to my channel 1 million gadgets. So today we have the successor of Redmi 4A, I mean Redmi 5A in a red color box. Before starting our unboxing, let's check what is there printed on the box. At the front side of the box, you will find MI branding and the device name. Again the same device name, I mean Redmi 5A is printed on the left hand side and right hand side of the box. At the back side, you will find the whole device information and we have the 2GB RAM and 16GB ROM gray version. So friends if you are planning to buy this device then just go for it, it's truly a value for money device. And for this device you have to pay only Rs 4999, or you have to pay Rs 5000 rupees if the delivery boy don't have any change. Ok now let's start our unwrapping and unboxing session. And here is our brand new Redmi 5A. It's a very compact and small device. Here we have the literature, the warranty card and the user guide. Then we have the micro USB port for data transferring and charging. Then comes the power adapter and it's a 5 volt 1 amp adapter. Here Xiaomi can provide a 2 amp adapter so we can get little bit fast charging. And the last thing you get a pin to eject SIM tray. So now let's focus on the device, peel up the plastic, here we have 5 inch 16 is to 9 720p HD resolution display and the display has pixel density of 294 ppi. But Xiaomi has not mentioned any Gorilla glass or any tap glass protection over the screen, so better use any tempered glass or any screen protector to get rid of scratches. Now if I talk about the display quality. According to the price point, it's a decent quality screen. Though we were shooting the video at bright out though, the display was quite visible for its adequate amount of brightness. And I also don't have any complaint about the viewing angle. Though a very expensive Pixel 2 XL device have so many complaints about the viewing angle. The SIM and the memory card slot is placed on the left hand side. And this time the good thing is Xiaomi has not went for hybrid SIM slot. In the bottom slot, the tray has two segments, you can put a SIM card and a micro SD card. And on the above slot, you can put your secondary SIM. And if we move on the top head of the device, you'll find a 3.5mm audio jack and an infrared blaster, I mean IR blaster to control remote control devices. At the back side, the device spots a 13MP camera with a single LED flash. Here we get the MI branding and the speaker grill at the bottom. On the right hand side of the device you will find the power key and the volume rocker. The bottom part spots a micro USB port and a small microphone hole. And I would prefer speaker grill at the bottom of the device more than on the back side. And on the front top side we get a 5 megapixel selfie shooter. Ok after booting up the device let's move to the about phone section. Out of the box the device is running on Android Nougat 7.1.2. Still now I haven't heard any audio update for this device and it's a Xiaomi device so it's running on custom skin MIUI 9.2 and it's a global stable ROM. As we have bought the device on the month of February so here we get the security patch level of January 2018. Ok now from the spec sheet let's check the processor of the device. Redmi 5A has Snapdragon 425 quad core processor and it's similar to Redmi 4A and the processor has clock speed of 1.4 GHz. In the storage segment, the device has 16 GB of internal storage and you will get only 8 GB of free internal storage. But this time we don't have to worry for storage cause we can use two SIM card along with a micro SD card and with the help of micro SD card we can expand the storage up to 256 GB. 
Okay, now I'll separately talk about the camera segment. First, let's check the camera UI. In options, you'll get panorama, timer, audio, manual, scenes, and many more. Here also you'll get a effects tab and in effects, you'll get lots of live effects. You can apply each and every live effects on real time. Now let's move to the video recording mode. In video recording mode, you'll just get a single option and that is time lapse. But if you move to Redmi Note 4 or Redmi Note 5 or increase your price and move to higher range of Redmi devices, then over there you'll get time lapse along with slow motion in video recording. And in video recording mode from the back camera, you can record video up to full HD. During daylight when you are clicking still images, you will not find any shutter lag. Even you can control real time exposure like other Xiaomi devices. So here are some camera samples with the back camera. And these samples are from the front camera. So friends if you have enjoyed the video then put a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and obviously hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. So data friends bye bye have a nice day.